post-game analysis. And here we are again, in case you just tuned in or you checked out at some point because this, this game was played in the most patient of ways. Yeah. Um, we, we've had a very, very interesting 2-0 victory, very convincing, which makes it sound like the game only lasted 15 minutes, but the opposite is the case. It, it, it no. took the whole 40 minutes for the it, round. It was complete control the whole time. Yeah. And um, so, so the really story... Really impressive. Absolutely, absolutely super impressive. The, yeah. the first game... Uh, Joshua Osses does have a maxi when his opponent goes first. Jonas Koschel from Germany. Yeah. He, he does have a good hand, can go into some ABC combos, um, assemble everything. But Joshua is just drawing so many cards that he can then start controlling the game easily. Yeah. And even if sometimes he's losing two cards and then his opponent is only losing one card, it really doesn't matter because in the end he, he's got like three cards left and the opponent has zero. Yeah, I mean... Just yeah, uh, I can't really say much for Jonas. I mean, he he played the cards he had with the ABC deck it is quite linear, and I think that Joshua was able to just be one step ahead of him on that linear pathway. Uh, it, it did feel like that. It, yeah, uh, it certainly did feel that. Quite way. a lot of yes. the time, yeah. And then the second game was very different um, because Jonas Koschel did have a perfect opening, so to speak, a really mm -hmm. really strong opening. Actually, two Union hangers. We we were. F thinking about should you get rid of mm -hmm. one of those and draw yeah. another card. He held on to it. it. It turned out to be the correct choice. Um, Joshua also has his entire side deck in his hand. Yeah. He's, he's playing... Uh, he's getting rid of the Sukuyomi and then yeah. plays the system down. Huge system down. The second Union Hanger comes down. He's got a Twin Twister to also stop that. And, and that is just like an assault. That is yeah. not just the one-two punch. That's... that's you just took like two of your opponent's really core players away from yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. It, it was playing with a dead man, basically. Yeah. Really and we good. really thought, okay, this is absolutely over. But mm -hmm. um, Shoshua Osas, in fact, took his time. He would just hang in there and patiently, yeah. one after another, get more advantage, more advantage, more advantage, until Jonas Koschel was in a spot where he could never, ever assemble the ABC uh, Dragon Buster again. No, because um, he didn't have the the remaining materials in his deck anymore. No, couldn't activate a port of desires because he didn't have enough cards in his deck. So, so it was really like a very very slow burn, but yeah. very controlled approach by Joshua Oosters. Yeah, very so much so. It was a masterful execution. We really have to give it to him. Yeah. Um, let's let's hear it from him. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> let's. We're gonna be right back with a quick interview with Joshua Osters, the winner of round six of uh, YCS Liverpool 2016. Hello and welcome back to YCS Liverpool 2016. I'm here with Joshua Oosters. Hello. Congratulations on uh, winning your feature match. Yeah, thank you. How, how was it? Yeah, it was good. Better good. than last time. Yeah. <laughs> Better than last time, yeah. So um, you, play, you played Infernoids. Yes. Um, I think throughout the whole match, me and Ollie were just really impressed with the way that you, you know, we saw, we've only ever seen really explosive Infernoid decks and you played yeah. that so kind of slow and easy and made yeah. sure that everything was in order before you were able to finally take the win. Yeah. It, it just seemed really strange. Is that is that kind of how you saw yourself playing the match? Uh, well, 
the deck is like really uh, versatile. Like sometimes you would just go off and do like 10,000 damage, but mm -hmm. sometimes, uh, especially against the decks like ABC, which uh, are also really trying to control the board and uh, control mm -hmm. the game state, mm -hmm. you really have to slow roll them, which the deck is really good at because it has cards like uh, Sides Moss, which is like yeah. absolutely amazing. Yeah, if you manage to Sides Moss someone like two yeah. or three times, you are really far ahead. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, during that. Um, during that second game, that system down was yeah. pretty damn good. Yeah, I looked at my hand and was like, yeah, I have Gamma Seal and system down, so yeah. whatever he does. Yeah, you had Gam Gamma Seal, system down, um, and he, he just had a Tsukiyomi and then Dragon yeah. Buster, and it was just like, there was not much not much to be done there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so something that I, I think is kind of strange is the last Inferno deck I saw had a bunch of reasonings, a like Monster Gate. Yeah, y you're not playing any of those. No, uh, we decided because of the format we really wanted to main deck cards like uh, Maxi and uh, Gamma Seal, mm -hmm. and after that we also realized the the Speedroid engine mm -hmm. is actually uh, very good be good because it does lots of things for the deck. Like you can make Dante and get some stuff into the graveyard, or yeah. like make Levier and like really cool plays with it. Yeah, and when you play Reasoning, you will usually just like mill one and then get to Maxi or something. Yeah, then yeah. you can't do anything. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if, if you're going to put hand traps in, you can't play Maxi. No, uh, exactly. Yeah. So, um, Pot of Desires, how has that been going for you? Yeah, like one of the reasons I really like this deck is because you can like play three Pot of Desires and it doesn't mm -hmm. even matter because you really can't banish anything and be like, oh, I lost my key card, now I can't play. Yeah, because you just play so many of everything. Yeah, exactly. And even yeah. if you uh, banish like really important cards, you can just make uh, Siphon Lord Omega mm -hmm. and just Start putting them back. Pu put back whatever you want. Yeah. So. So, um, if I if I was informed correctly, you are currently the Dutch national yes. champion. Okay, yes, that's correct. What did you uh, win nationals with? Uh, Cosmo Demise. Cosmo Demise. It's okay. Very different from this. I deck. was gonna say that's, <laughs> that's a big big <laughs> difference yes, to this deck. Um, okay, so you know what what made you switch from that kind of deck to to this one? Well, it's really a funny story, really, because I uh, I really like the Cosmo Demise deck, of course. <laughs> But I played uh, Euros with it and YCS Rimini, and I did really, really bad at both those events. Mm -hmm. So I decided I wanted to play something uh, that would also win where you go second, because with the Cosmo the Mice deck, whenever you lose the die roll, you just you can't yeah, really do anything. Yeah, you're playing those trap cards. Yeah, and with uh, the Inferno deck, like even when I win the die roll, I make my opponent go first, because I know the deck can just play through my whatever my opponent has. Yeah. Do you not get scared when your opponent maybe opens, like, uh, you know, Dragon Buster, a couple of set cards. Yeah. It's like I had some games today where my op opponent would like pen them summon uh, Kirin, Jaugen, uh, all the Slotgate monsters that would just sit there. I was like, yeah, GG. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, so. Ha it happens. Yeah, it happens. well, still, you got a pretty decent record at the moment. So that puts yep. you, that's, you're still on X1, is that yep. right? Yeah. So still looking good. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Have you, have you managed to uh, take away any games with uh, Ghost Reaper? No, I actually haven't sighted it in. Even once. Really? Uh, not even yeah. ABCs. It's really funny because I'm playing the Dragon Buster in my extra deck, mm -hmm. and I'm also siding three Ghost Reaper. But every time I'm like, yeah, I don't have the space to actually side in the Ghost Reapers at all because yeah. I want to play all my engine cards. Yeah, I must say I I played him I played Inferno way way back when yeah. it was kind of just just starting. The reasoning deck. <laughs> yeah, the reasoning yeah. the reasoning deck. Yeah, <laughs> basically that. Even with card troopers and stuff. Yeah, right yeah. back then. Exactly. And. Um, yeah, I always find that side decking was really tough for yeah. Infernoids. Because you don't you want to take out your Infernoids, and you don't want yeah. to take out your Reasonings, you don't want to take out your everything, A Anything, basically. yeah. You yeah. Don't, you <laughs> basically, the whole deck is just Infernoids and cards to mill Infernoids. Exactly. <laughs> and you don't want to take out either no. of them. It was always kind of, like, I, obviously you played Triple Upstart Goblin back then. Like, yeah. those were the only cards you could really take out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was really difficult. You're only playing one copy of Instant Fusion. How, you know, how's what, what what's that about? Yeah, I was playing... I was playing more copies of Instant Fusion, but mm -hmm. I really wanted to play a 40-card deck. So um, okay. out of all the cards I could cut, I figured the I played two Instant Fusion before mm -hmm. because it's really good to go into uh, Omega or a high-speed droid uh, Chambaga yeah. with the Decatron. Yeah, but if, you're, if you're playing Raid and it's like yeah, really, but it's really really basically good. just a win more card. Mm -hmm. While all the other cards uh, actually advance your game state. Okay. Okay. So big question: What's your favorite Inferno monster? Uh, yeah, Sight Smash. Definitely. Sight Smash. Yes. It's it's so so good. It's like one of the best cards in the game. Mm -hmm. And you just hit something and then banish it without targeting. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. It's so good. So you like it just for its effect. Yes. I mean, what, what do you think is the coolest looking Inferno monster? Um, I would probably say a Harmadic. He looks pretty cool. Harmadic looks yeah, pretty yeah, cool. He's a yeah, I like badass little guy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like yeah. Yeah. Harmadic's pretty cool. I like um, 
Peter Moss as well. Yeah, Peter Moss. Because he looks like a tiny little dude. <laughs> yeah. Like, Amadek looks kind of big, but the Peter Moss is always a, like a tiny little dude. And then obviously, you've got the three banished guys, they look massive. I, I don't really know what the scale of them are, but yeah. yeah. You never know. The Decatron is also really cool because it has like a little person inside the, <laughs> the helmet. <It's laughs> yeah. Re really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, n nice work. And I think yeah. that the, we were a little bit behind the main event, so we're going to be able to kind of wrap things up here and get straight right. on to the next round. So oh, cool. congratulations and Thank you. good luck in the rest of the tournament. And we're going to be right back with even more live coverage from YCS Liverpool 2016. Catch you guys soon.